David, it's so lovely to see you. Hi, Seth Myers. Good to be here. Hi. You're uh, on a real is... set. You're on your set, unless you remodeled your house. No, this is the real set now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Week two of trying to pretend like things are normal. <laughs> okay. An, an odd thing happened to me just now. Um, I, I was. I'm in my office, and I realized uh, that you're going to be on TV in a, in a few minutes. Uh, so I went to the. I thought, oh my God, I better like spruce up. I went to the bathroom and sprayed my armpits with, uh, you know, that air freshener stuff. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. That we keep in the bathroom, and I thought, oh, that's good. I'm going to smell okay on television. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have that technology yet, but I would love to. Uh, <laughs> yeah. If we could get smell through Zoom technology, that would really yes, be. Uh, yes. That would help. Uh, <laughs> David, your show was the last Broadway show I saw uh, before everything shut down, and it is an incredibly optimistic uplifting show that felt very necessary for that time. It seems even more necessary now. Is it a show that you hope to get back on stage again? Yeah, yeah, we hope to get it back on stage. I think it's going to be, uh, realistically, I think it's going to be about a year. That's, mm -hmm. I mean, the va there's the vaccine and there's how long it takes the vaccine to get out there and how long for, for people to feel comfortable, even with masks on, sitting right next to strangers because the, you know, the Broadway thing is you can't do a Broadway theater with 25% capacity. Of it course. has to be like 80%. And so it's, yeah, that might take a while. That's okay. Uh, we got to move. They've got this movie coming in the meantime. Time. Now, so this is, um, uh, you know, you had this production filmed and, and you had it filmed by, uh, by none other than Spike Lee. Uh, how does it, how does that collaboration come about? I texted Spike. <laughs> yes, text is a wonderful thing. So I, uh, I we'd cross paths a few times, and so I had his text and number, and and I there was there were stirrings that somebody might want to make a movie of this show. So I texted him and said, well, you, "There's somebody might make a movie of this. You want to come see it? Check this out." So he came to Boston. Uh, it was a two-show day. We do two shows on Saturdays. And uh, by the second show afterwards, he came to my dressing room and said, I want to do this. And so then it was like, okay, to get the money in place and all that kind of stuff. It was kind of scramble to get it all together. Um, and it worked. I was thrilled. Very, very, very happy with the way it came out. It, uh, I was wondering for someone like you that obviously you're on stage, you know, it's not something that you, I'm assuming in rehearsals, you step back and you watch things, but are you someone who can enjoy uh, watching yourself? Like when you, is it nice to have this sort of now time-stamped moment of when you were doing this show? I realized when I saw the first cut that Spike and the editor showed me that it's the first time I've seen the show. And <laughs> I thought, oh my God, I've been doing this for a couple of years now and I had never seen it. And I thought, and of course, I'm looking and going, look what those, look what they're doing back there. Look what those <laughs> other musicians are doing back there. I had no idea they were doing that. Um, but also, in general, though, uh, I'm a little older than I used to be, and I, I don't take as much pleasure looking at myself as <laughs> I used to. <laughs> Well, there are, it should be noted, there are a lot of other musicians on stage for you to look at, so... Uh, <laughs> yes, there's some very, there's very handsome and beautiful musicians on stage. You, yes. I wonder, you know, you, uh, uh, for my money, for a lot of people's money, uh, you, you made the greatest concert film of all time, Stop Making Sense, and I wonder if anything, there was anything from that that you brought into this insofar as what you wanted to be grasped from a live performance, because this does have such energy, the same sort of energy I felt when I was in the audience. Um, we stop making sense. Oh gosh, I know, I know, I know, I know. It's a, it's a tough bar. Jonathan raised the bar pretty far, and so did we, the band. But uh, I think we're, I think we're, we're up to it. I think we're up to it. Um, there was a moment during the filming where Spike, uh, who was good friends with Jonathan, kind of looked up to the ceiling and goes, "Jonathan, how we doing? How we doing? I think we're doing pretty good here." <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's fantastic. We also talked, uh, you have a, a, a magazine, Reasons to be Cheerful, and, uh, and you're starting a new, I guess uh, maybe you can describe it to us, uh, the We Are Not Divided is sort of a project that is, again, 
has this same sort of optimism that in this time that, you know, were you to watch, you know, cable news most of the day, you would think that there's two halves of this country, but you sort of have found that maybe people are more similar than we're willing to let on. Yeah, so I have this kind of uh, solutions journalism uh, website magazine uh, that we look for, well, evidence of uh, people who have found solutions to things that we think maybe are, are intractable. And my colleagues suggested that, that well, kind of in the run-up to the election, that we do a series called We Are Not Divided, where we report on instances where people are actually bridging the gaps between themselves and uh, finding that we're not maybe as divided as we are led to think we are. I know. It's, but so when they first <laughs> first proposed this, I, I responded and said, are you kidding? You know, I, I mean, I wake up in the morning, I read the papers, and I think we're all ready to kill one another. And uh, they said, can you show me some examples, which they did, which they did. And I said, this is really great. So let's do this. We're going to do this for, I don't know what it is, like six weeks or so but up until the election. And uh, hope that it will make people realize that maybe we're not as divided as we think we are. Um, I will uh, leave it on that because, as always, uh, I am in a better mood after I see you than I was before. Uh, that is true uh, whether we talk or whether I see your show. And I'm so glad that uh, those that weren't lucky enough to see it on stage can uh, see it on HBO. And it's just always a delight, David. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good to see you again.